Hello, everyone, and welcome to Connecting the Dots with Dr. Ashaye, a great place to be if you desire to take charge of your health so you can live fully while enjoying doing what you love. If this is your first time joining us, welcome. I'm Lola Ashaye. I'm a family medicine and lifestyle medicine doctor and owner of In Touch Primary Care in Sugarland, Texas. And here we make it easy for people to achieve and maintain good health. We provide stress-free medical care so you can feel well and fit enough to chase your dreams. This whole month, we're going to be talking about a new topic, allergies, specifically environmental allergies. And I'm going to answer questions like, are allergies harmful? We're going to talk about, you know, is there a cure for allergies? Um, are there things that you can do to help allergies outside of medications? And so much more. I have very um, special things coming up this month, month and I'm going to, I'm excited to share them, but we'll, we'll talk about that over time. So if you or someone you know has allergies, I want you to stay tuned for these series because they're going to be really helpful. You really don't want to miss this. Okay, so there are so many kinds of allergies, right? There are allergies to pets, there are medication allergies, there are food allergies. And if you've watched the movie Hitch with um, Will Smith, you may remember the scene where he ate some seafood and he was supposed to be allergic to seafood and his face just completely blew up. Well, that's a form of allergy. That's a hypersensitivity reaction. But there are also very rare allergies. There's like a sun allergy where the person's skin reacts abnormally to UV light exposure. There are even people that have an allergic to allerg allergy to cold. So if they touch anything that is cold, if their skin touches cold air or cold objects, they can have hives or even life-threatening reactions. So they're very rare allergies too. But this month, we're gonna be focusing on a group of allergies known as environmental allergies. So environmental allergies are a group of conditions. They usually will cause things like sneezing, a stuffy nose or a runny nose, um, itchy eyes. And they're caused by things in our environment. And they could be things in our home or things outdoors. And normally, people will breathe in these substances and won't have a problem. But when a person that has an environmental allergy is exposed to something that other people, you know, are exposed to every day and are fine, this person, in this case, that immune system acts as if the substance is harmful to the body. So the immune system overreacts and causes symptoms like nasal symptoms, like itching, and it really can affect the person's quality of life. Some people with allergies have a lot of trouble sleeping. Sometimes they have trouble just concentrating. They're tired all the time. So um, it's, it's just one of those conditions that can be pretty um, disabling, really, because of all the symptoms it could cause. So some people have allergy symptoms all year round, and so that can be pretty tough. Typically, when people have year-round symptoms, um, in depending on the part of the country they are in, it could be things like insects, like dust mites or cockroaches, or it could be animals like cats or dogs or even mold spores. And then other people have symptoms only during specific times of the year. So some people have, you know, what we call seasonal allergies because it happens during particular seasons. Unfortunately, for people that live in specific parts of the country where there's pollen all the time, they end up having symptoms all year, all year round because, you know, the pollen is always there. And that's very true for places like the Texas area. Um, pollens can come from trees, grass or weeds, um, mold spores as well, especially after it rains, you can have mold spores in the air or when it's humid in humid areas as well. So those are the things that typically um, people that are predisposed to allergies will react to. So those are some of the things that cause environmental allergies. So when people experience sneezing or stuffy nose or itchy eyes, um, as you know, these sim symptoms are very similar to cold symptoms, right, to upper, other upper respiratory infection type symptoms. And for many, it's not always clear the difference between 
Is this allergies or is this, you know, a cold? What, what are we dealing with here? And so the Googling of the symptoms start, right? So people start to Google. They're wondering, does this, you know, do allergies cause a fever or do allergies cause a headache? Or, you know, they're trying to find out whether or not this is allergies or something else. Well, environmental allergies don't cause a fever, but they can cause headaches for sure from the sinus um, pressure. They can cause a sore throat from the drainage or, um, or even dryness and irritation of the throat. Allergies can cause congestion, runny nose, itchy eyes, red eyes, sneezing, and a lot of times the symptoms just run people down. They just don't feel well. So over the last, you know, almost over 15 years now as a primary care doctor, I've seen so many upper respiratory conditions, you know, viral illnesses, sinus problems, and I've had a lot of experience trying to differentiate between the different conditions and also treating and seeing what works. And, you know, in the past, when I saw people that had symptoms consistent with allergies, I'll just kind of like, okay, let's start over, let's start with over-the-counter medications and go from there. But over the years, more recently, I've been more of a, I've been a bigger proponent of testing, allergy testing, and for environmental allergies and even food allergies. And I'll share three reasons why today. Um, there are many reasons, but I'll share three reasons why I think if you have allergies, you should consider allergy testing. So the first reason is I found that some people with allergy-like symptoms, you know, they have symptoms like congestion, runny nose, maybe post-nasal drip, but they actually don't have allergies. Their symptoms may be triggered by things like hot or spicy foods or fumes or weather changes or even medicines. And these people would just assume based on their symptoms that they have allergies. And many of them are spending a ton of money on allergy medicine and they're just wasting, you know, because it's not gonna work because they don't have allergies. And um, by testing these people, right, we're able to tell the difference between whether or not this is allergies, and that way we can actually address their symptoms properly. So these people have what we call non-allergic rhinitis, and, um, you know, they don't have allergies, but, you know, they're treating it like allergies because the symptoms are similar. So testing can be really helpful in this population. Now, the other reason that I like to test for allergies is if it turns out that the person actually has allergies, knowing the cause of the allergy is very helpful. It really helps with the treatment plan. And for example, right, if you know you're allergic to dust mites, which is a common allergy, and dust mites um, allergy can be worse, you know, when you turn on the heater at first, um, and, uh, you know, all the dust and everything comes through, those people will benefit from regularly changing their air filters. They'll probably benefit from installing a HEPA filter. And um, so knowing that they have a dust mite allergy will change some of the things they do. If you have a pollen allergy, you know, doing nasal rinses can be helpful, making sure that you take a shower or you cover your hair when you go outside and there's a lot of pollen or even wearing a pollen mask. So there are things that you will do specific to the allergy when you know that what exactly you're allergic to. So basically when you know what the specific allergens are, that you're allergic to, you can better decide what kind of environmental control you like to implement. And so that can really reduce your exposure to the allergen, which also reduces your symptoms. So that's the second reason why I think if you have allergies, you should definitely consider testing. The third reason is there are certain conditions like asthma or eczema that are strongly associated with allergies. And when people with these conditions are tested for allergies, they can be appropriately treated if they have allergies. And a lot of times when they're treated with allergy drops or allergy shots, it really helps manage their um, eczema or asthma. It can be a huge game changer for them. So, you know, that is another reason why I'm a big advocate of testing to find out why or um, what allergies you might have, if you have allergies and what allergies you might have.
So I'm going to talk more about treatment in the following episodes, but briefly, um, when allergies are properly addressed, it really makes a difference for the person's quality of life. It increases their productivity at work or school. It helps them concentrate better. They're able to sleep a lot better. So addressing allergies can be very, very beneficial. And so testing to determine whether or not you have allergies is, you know, can be very helpful. So many people suffer with allergies for years. They don't realize that there are treatments that can really make a difference in their quality of life. And I'm going to be sharing more about this in the next episode. If you're anywhere in the Texas area and you have allergies, you have asthma or you have eczema and you like to get tested or treated for allergies or you just want to learn more, the next step is really simple. You can just contact us. So you can call us, text us at the number in the caption below or above or go ahead and schedule a 15 minute free consultation with me online to learn more. So Imagine you can breathe more comfortably through your nose. You can sleep well now. You no longer have to, you know, have nose bleeds a lot because you're always rubbing your nose. You can see clearly. You don't always feel like your eyes are like, you know, hard are, you know, closed up all the time or itchy all the time. So it is possible to live a, you know, better quality of life, um, you know, free of allergies all the time. So if you do have allergies, it's worth addressing. So I hope that helps. Uh, we'll be back next week talking more about allergies and um, treatment for allergies. So don't miss it. Hope to see you then.